Hi everyone, me again from sunny such as Georgia. Got a thundercloud coming up over there, might get wet here in a minute, but I thought I'd run a quick video. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Uh, nothing serious, it's just been had a lot to do with the uh, family and, and uh, Susan's mom's health and all that stuff. But everybody's okay right now. Uh, as you can see, we're camping out, oh boy. Our first trip out with the new camper. Um, and uh, there's our trailer we always pull everything with. Got a generator over there running, just keeping things nice and cool. And, uh, but I thought I'd get out here and uh, not, the story's really not about the camper. Maybe I'll do a video on it later, but uh, the uh, story is on the, where we are. We're in uh, Suchus, Georgia. Uh, you have to look on a map to find it. Uh, it's not too far from Helen, not too far from the town of Dahlonega. Um, some of the best riding in North Georgia that I know of. And it's only about 80 miles from the house. So we can come up here on a pretty regular basis. All right, he's gonna let me out. No, thank you, appreciate that. Oh, another spider, all right. Anyway, this is Highway 60 North. And uh, this road up here to the right is uh, uh, Wolf Pen Gap, which I've been on and made a video before. But I wanna take you down 60 here, or up 60, up north. And uh, we've done it before, but uh, we've been riding it today and we rode it some yesterday. And I tell you, I think it, it may be, uh, for an old cruiser guy like me who doesn't really like to go all that fast anymore, it might be one of the best roads in the area. Um, it's got some semi-technical stuff, uh, similar to what you might find on the tail of the dragon, but mostly it's got really nice views, uh, tree tunnels, uh, little valleys that you go through. Uh, I don't know how what the mileage is. I meant to check it before I, I went, but it goes uh, s uh, 60 goes all the way up to uh, Blue Ridge, Georgia, which is where we get on it. It actually continues on, but uh, we get on it here and, and then turn south on it and come back the other way here. But uh, we just rode through the little town of Suchus. Not much to it. We just kind of whistle through. Real nice place. And of course, we stay at two wheels of Suchus. But um, anyway, we get down here, you get down the road here a little ways, and you'll get a chance to see some of these roads. Um, the technical stuff is pretty, up pretty comes up pretty quick. Uh, then it'll get down into the valleys. And I'll, I don't know how long I run this video, but I'll uh, uh, try to include most of the best stuff. Maybe I'll get down here to where we turn off to go to some of the other roads. But uh, uh, as you can see, I got the windshield off. What you can't see is I'm riding in a t-shirt and a wiki shirt. And uh, it's probably high 70s right now, maybe low 80s. Beautiful, beautiful day here in North Georgia. And I uh, just thought I'd get out. And this is really the first chance this year that Susan and I have had a chance to get out and ride. Again, like I said, we've had some things going on uh, with uh, Susan's mom. Uh, she had a slight stroke uh, sometime right after Christmas, I believe it was. And she's okay. She just, uh, uh, she, you know, it's one of those funny strokes. It affects your, 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 uh, your speech. She, uh, she has trouble putting a sentence together. She's, she can tell you what's going on. It's just that she can't seem to put a sentence together very easily. Uh, and occasionally she has a little bit of, uh, seems like she's got just a little bit of dementia, not much, but you know, just like she gets real confused. And because she can't speak very well, she can't really tell you that she's confused. And I think the two of them are feeding on each other. I think it's really ticking her off that she, that she can't do what she wants to do. And, uh, but she still gets around fine, no paralysis. She rides her little scooter all over the, all over the town. And uh, uh, in fact, we think she goes out too much that you know, she should stay home more. But, but we've, uh, we've been trying to visit with her every day. The uh, therapist says uh, that somebody that she knows should be with her and should speak with her and try to help her get her voice back. And she's also got some therapy going on. But, uh, uh, but anyway, that's what we've been doing ever since uh, right around Christmas time, I guess, or a little bit after Christmas. So we really haven't had a chance to go anywhere. This is our first trip away from the house. Um, I've not been able to get back up to North Carolina for a couple of months now, so that's uh, that's something in my to do on my to do list. But uh, just wanted to show you some of these roads. As you can see, these are pretty nice little curves. I mean, I'm I'm running a 35 to 40 on most of them. Some of them down to 20. But um, you know, this these are some nice little roads. There went a. What was that? I don't know what that was. Some fast little car. A lot of little cars out here. They like to scoot around here. A lot of bikes come up this way. And uh, there you go. There's a 25 mile an hour little corner right there. It has sort of a little gravity effect to it. But uh, uh, Susan and I have been going all over the place. We went to a little place called Hiawassee today 
for lunch and uh, on our way back we decided we'd do a little bit of exploring and we, we went up a, a, a road called Hidden Lake Road and followed it and uh, daggum the thing didn't turn to gravel <laughs> we spent we ended up in a national forest uh, going uh, about five miles on a gravel road a really nice gravel road or I wouldn't have continued on it but we ended up riding on it and getting everybody get thing everything all dusty but Susan had a blast she loved it she don't tell anybody but she took her helmet off and rode dirty all through the forest um, trust me it's just a good thing she left the rest of her clothes on but she you know back in the day she would have whipped those you know, never mind maybe I shouldn't tell tales like that about my wife anyway but uh, as you can see, uh, this is just a terrific little road. I mean, there's, you know, this is a Tuesday, uh, so uh, school is not out yet in the Georgia area. So there's nobody up here. I mean, we got it. It's all to yourself. If you can get away, if you're anywhere in the in the Georgia area or, or South Carolina or even North Carolina, if you can come down to Suchus, it's a great place here called Two Wheels of Suchus. You can camp if you want. You can get a cabin. Uh, you can do what we're doing. We're boondocking in their parking lot. Uh, they only charge $15 a night for that. So hard to beat that anywhere. So, uh, but anyway, we love riding here. These roads are just terrific around here. And uh, uh, of course, you know, I mean, as little as we've ridden this year, I guess anything would be terrific. But uh, the thing about this is different from most of the other roads you ride on is you come out into little valleys, you know, little areas like this. And uh, uh, there'll be a bigger valley up here just over the over the rise here if I remember right but uh, but just such good ride beautiful weather beautiful scenery um, it's not too far away from about anything uh, Hiawassee was maybe 15 to 20 miles away depending on how we went to uh, we went and ate some lunch there but uh, not much in the little town of such as there is a uh, uh, two wheels is open on the weekends and they can feed you there and they do a real good job with hamburgers and hot dogs but uh, if you want more than that you gotta go to one of the smaller towns uh, at either end of either 60 here or uh, one of the other roads off of this way but uh, you know what do you think about this road isn't this pretty nice hopefully I'm not holding my hopefully I am holding my head still enough for you I thought about mounting the camera on the handlebars but uh, I didn't actually bring the my other helmet that has the long lead on it so that I can would be able to uh, gab through the whole thing but uh, anyway uh, this is a uh, again really really nice it's not too far from where we are to ride up here I have ridden it uh, but the trouble is when you go back home search especially during the week you get caught in that traffic which really starts about 2:30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and on a hot day like this I mean I got heat stroke once doing it I don't really want to do it again so that's why we trailer. That's why we haul them back and forth. Um, tell you a quick little word about the camper. Uh, is the uh, made by Cirrus. It's the new Camp 720. It's a brand new 2020 model. It's the very first run of this one. Uh, they had a prototype called the 670 that they that we actually got to see uh, at the dealership. Uh, they were they were sending the prototype all around, letting all everybody look at it. And we found out it was there and went and looked at it. And there's very little difference between uh, between it and the uh, 720, which we ended up with. But uh, it's got all the bells and whistles, air conditioning, a stove, a sink, a bathroom, a shower, queen-size bed, the whole thing. It's actually, if you're familiar with Doctor Who, if you know what a TARDIS is, yes, it is actually bigger on the inside. Or actually, it seems to be. The way they've got everything planned and the way everything is situated in there. But again, like I said, I'll... Maybe I'll do a video on it if, if, you're, if you're impatient and you uh, want to know what it looks like. You go on uh, YouTube and put in uh, New Camp uh, 670 or put in New Camp 720 and there'll be a number of videos in there where the dealers are walking you through it and showing you all the, all the, do, all the do lolly stuff on there. But uh, we think it's going to make a big difference for us. Uh, we love camping out and uh, we have been limited on what we could bring with us uh, when we were using the mighty Kia to pull our trailer and the and the two bikes, we really couldn't carry much else because that was pretty much right at the limit of the Kia. Then, thanks to my good buddy Jack, we got the uh, F-250, and uh, that opened up the whole world of uh, campers and tow behinds and all that stuff for us. And we settled on this one. We think it gives us the most mobility. We can actually 
four-wheel drive the truck, we can actually go up dirt roads and find uh, boondocking, you know, areas up in the national forest and places like that. But here's one of these nice valleys. What do you think about this? So you ride along through there in the mountains and then you come out on one of these. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got a little tickle. But anyway, uh, I think I'm getting probably pretty long on this video, but I, I just wanted to bring you down this way and try to catch you up. Everything is doing good with the family. I just have uh, been slack dogged and haven't had anything to say. You know, didn't really want to tell you all about our family uh, situation, but again, everything's cool. And I've uh, been really great to see some people out. Good to see uh, Smyrna Cowboys. We're doing well with his new hip and uh, uh, Arizona RE's out. And uh, by golly, even Triple X Deadhead riding again. So who knows what's going to happen next? It's, it's a miracle. <laughs> okay. Well, on this beautiful valley here, I'll let you go. Hope everybody is having a wonderful day. And by golly, get out and ride them if you can. Take care. Bye-bye.